It seems like the anger this time is different, but we're also in the immediate wake of this kind of a raid. When I hear we need GOP senators talking about should the FBI continue to exist, I think maybe this was the bridge too far where the Republican Party might do something if it takes back power. What do you think? Well, I don't know what they what they're going to do because you see Dan Crenshaw saying, you know, standing for the FBI, which is a weird thing to come out and do at this point in time. So you wonder what the Republicans are going to do, right? We we know that Grassy had a hearing, a so-called hearing, and Ray showed up, blew it off, and then said he had to leave early. And Grassy's shaking his hand. Oh, I'm sure you have other important things to do. No, he doesn't, Senator, have anything important to do. He's going to see hookers or something. Who knows what he's going to do? Going to go meet with the Epstein ring. Who knows what he's going to do? But it's not mm. nothing important. So that's unfortunate. But they have it's, – it's a weird thing because, you know, you've studied communism. I have. We've studied the Stasi. And we know that people, unfortunately, will endure a lot of injustice before – they revolt and you wonder how much are people going to put up with and that's why government has to function that's why there has to be oversight because you don't want people you know like that knucklehead and i think it was ohio you know he goes on truth social media and claims that he's going to wage war or something on the fbi and you wonder oh is this guy um, an mk ultra guy or what's going on but you don't want that that that's how con the country disintegrates that's how we become like the Middle East, so it's on the Congress to say, look, we're cutting your budget by 25%. You're done. We're cutting it for 25%. You can focus on real crimes. There's a lot of human trafficking happening. You can focus on that and all this counter espionage stuff. You people are goobers. You can't stop any real terrorism anyway. Maybe you're, maybe you're starting it. That has to be done because otherwise, yeah, people are going to go postal and that's a disaster for everyone, right? You want to live a life, everybody here wants to just what? Live a nice life. You don't even want to have to worry about the government. And unfortunately, you can't just live a normal life anymore because they're framing people and setting people up and even setting up the president, which is the whole Trump thing. You know, I'm not, a, a, I haven't been a Trump guy for a long, long, long time, but the, he was president. He's got a few boxes of stuff. It's things like this that really drive people batty, the gaslighting, the emotional abuse. He was president. Sorry, Libs. He knows more classified information than all but maybe 30 people in the entire face of the planet. Just the way it is. Sorry, he was he was actually president, and he had a few boxes of nonsense. And if, if by the way, and by the way, if the secrets are so important, why are they on paper anyway? That's the whole thing is dumb, right? And I think that's why people are again kind of losing it. They're like, oh, we had nuclear secret. Then why were nuclear secrets on paper? You're, 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 what do you, you know, none, none of it adds up. It's making people go batty. And maybe that's what the FBI wants. They just want more chaos and they want people to lose their minds. And then because then you have a mentally ill person do something bad. And then the FBI goes, see, that gives us more reason to crack down on people. But. That's where we are, brother. It's an unfortunate thing, and it's up to Republicans to preserve the social order, and that requires accountability and defunding the FBI if necessary.